In this video, we are going to discuss problem number 9.16, Standard 12 Physics, NCRT textbook, Ray Optics chapter. So, we are given that the eye is actually seeing an object which is at a distance of 50 cm from the eye. So, this object is 50 cm away from the human eye. Now, instead, if we keep a glass slab of the thickness 15 cm, and you have to understand that the thickness is the perpendicular distance between those two surfaces through which the light travels. So, the light actually passes from the object, crosses this surface and this surface. That is why this distance 15 centimeter would be the thickness, right? It is not the actual thickness of the glass slab, it is the perpendicular distance between two surfaces through which the light passes. Now, you have to understand this very clearly that this is the actual object and the ray first of all encounters the refraction like this from the surface AB. So, from air to glass, right, it, be, it will bend towards normal. So, when this ray falls on this surface, this ray appears to be coming from somewhere over here. So, this image which is actually the image for this surface behaves as the object for this surface, right. And finally, this ray would bend away from the normal second time refraction and when you sketch it backwards, this is the final image. Correct. Please understand this once again. For surface AB, this is the object and then due to the refraction, this ray appears to be coming from here. So, this is the image for this surface, right. Now, this ray which is actually the refracted ray for this surface behaves as an incident ray for this surface which appears to be coming from here. So, this behaves as an object for CD, correct. And finally, if you sketch the refracted ray backwards, this is the final image for surface CD. So, for surface AB, this is the object, this is the image. For surface CD, this is the object, that is the image. Now, if you look carefully overall, when this ray goes into the eye of the observer, this is the final shift S. Now, this shift S can be written as the thickness of the glass slab 1 minus 1 upon refractive index. If you do not understand how this expression actually came, please see the video. The link is given in the description, right? So, I am going to just substitute the value of thickness as 15 centimeters, right? Then this is 1 minus 1 upon refractive index of the glass is 1.5, which is already given. So, I am going to write this as 3 by 2. So, 5 centimeters is the answer. Now, you have to understand that, that this derivation is actually kept in mind, actually derived by keeping in mind very, very small angles. So, the angle of incidence is angle of refraction, all angles are very, very small, right? So, on that basis, we have derived this equation, correct? Now, you can see very clearly that the shift does not depend upon the position of the object. It is because nowhere in the formula, the position of the object is highlighted, right? It only depends upon two things, directly proportional to the thickness and then finally directly proportional to the refractive index. Because if mu increases, this will decrease and anyhow shift will increase. And if this t increases, then also the shift is going to increase. So, this is the final answer 